and your partner says, darling, I'm mostly loyal to you most of the time, but sometimes I skip it when no one's watching. Would that be acceptable? Perfect marriage between process and transformation. When consulting with an organization, we can often predict early on whether a transformation will succeed. The key factor there is the team's attitude towards quality assurance. If their approach is, we mostly follow the process most of the time, so we should be okay, that's an early red flag. The problem is, if this attitude starts at the top with the management or even higher management, as it trickles down the hierarchy, the quality of product or service delivery continues to decline. Eventually, everyone abandons the new process, goes back to old habits, and declares that transformation wasn't possible. Here's an analogy that I share with my clients before introducing any transformational process. I ask them this, if you're in a relationship and your partner says, darling, I'm mostly loyal to you most of the time, but sometimes I skip it when no one's watching. Would that be acceptable? Most likely, no. The same goes for the process. They should be followed consistently and accurately every time, all the time. If you're going to casually sleep with your process, don't expect processes to stick around for too long. Let's assume you serve 10 people in a day Failing just one person might not feel like much, but to them, you might seem like you failed 100% of the time. This won't result in a positive transformation. Successful people are meticulous about how they do things. It's one quality that elevates them. If they had settled for lower standards, they wouldn't be where they are. So the takeaway is this, before giving up on process transformation, Leaders need to champion quality assurance, ensuring the process is adhered to consistently and meets the required standards every time, all the time. <laughs>